Hi guys, welcome back. So today I am filming a little vlog. I haven't done a vlog in just the longest time, but it's been so busy and we've been meaning to do a bit of furniture shopping for weeks now. We've just not gotten around to it, but we are heading into a lockdown into the UK tomorrow. So we kind of have to go now, otherwise we have to wait another month. We wouldn't usually be rushing out before a lockdown because we kind of feel like a lockdown is happening for a reason. So we definitely still want to try and be safe, um, but this furniture store is usually pretty quiet. So we're hoping it's going to be okay. Um, if it's too busy, then we're just not going to go in, but fingers crossed it won't be too bad. Thought I'd share with you my outfit of the day. Um, so if you watch my favorites video, you'll probably recognize this, but it is just my dress I really need to take that tag off um, my coat over the knee boots and then my little cinema bag which has just been going with me everywhere recently so I hope it's not too cold and um, if it is I might grab a scarf but we are about to head out now face mask going on just about to head in heading into Neptune now oh it's already so pretty I always forget we have to go around the back. So we've been here once before, but I think that was like literally when we first moved. So it was really sunny and we're looking at garden furniture. It is not, well it is sunny, but it's a bit nippier now. love this floral arrangement i feel like it's maybe a bit big for our space but it is gorgeous this is the sofa that we ordered not in this color but in the white with the silver studs and that should be arriving in like three weeks which i'm really excited about i always want everything in here though it's so gorgeous the tv is just enormous and we just finalized our media unit and it actually looks kind of similar we also are going to have a little ladder which I'm really excited about, I think they look so great. This looks so real. I think I'm gonna get some of these because we have a vase. Um, so I'm gonna pick these up on the way out. These are peonies I got before. They look great. I don't really need new friends, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play, though. Wanna hang with me? I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of. Give it all to me. Get next to me, get next to me. All that I want is get next to you, get next to you. Not asking for. And there he goes. Is it a jam? Pretty much a jam. Comfy as ours? Uh, much more sinkier. Oh, okay. Oh, it is comfy, isn't it? My goodness. The jam. I feel like it'd be quite difficult to get up. I feel like it's up. you when you're excited to get into bed. Well, that's rude, isn't Watch it? The flop. <laughs> that may or may not be me. Uh, I do enjoy that. So this bedroom is just the dreamiest thing. Okay. <laughs> 
the wardrobes. We need to decide on paint colour for our custom ones. Like, I was leaning towards the gold, but I actually really like that colour. And then the, the shiny knobs, basically. There's no, not funny way to say knobs. Yeah? Yeah, that's fine. It's not quite white, but I think it'll look nice against white, so. I am used to you. Different shades of white. Paying lots of money. Okay, cool. This is our dining table. We've set it up so beautifully. I actually just got some very similar candlesticks from the white company. Oh, I love this. So beautiful. This smells amazing. Even through our face mask, I can really smell it. I might pick one of these up. It's so nice. This is really lovely as well. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. We have our ups and downs, but when there's love, there's always a way. And oh, this time of year, we come together to celebrate. Yes, every time the snow. Just picking up the eucalyptus leaves. I'm trying to decide, do we think four stems are enough? Too many? I'm not really sure. Because the vase is quite big. I'm thinking that four might be enough. I can always get some more, I suppose. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with four. All right, so fairly successful, did some research, and then I got my eucalyptus leaves and a really lovely candle as well picking up some Christmas decorations. I'm in Wilpo. It's a good place for stocking stuffers and really affordable Christmas decorations. Okay, so we are back. I will show you guys what I got maybe actually um, tomorrow because we're losing light and we need to have some munch because it's super, super late. Um, so we got some Nando's, so that's what we're gonna do now. There is Dan, sorting our air fryer. And Nando's, thank you. What did you get? Oh, nice. to clean around there. It is quite nippy. <laughs> there is nothing down that's more than lighting the fire. So I thought I would go ahead and show you what I got from Neptune and Wilco. For those of you who don't live in the UK and you're not familiar with either, Neptune is, as you probably guessed, a furniture store, but they also do sell a few knickknacks. And Wilco, Wilco is a bit more difficult to describe. I don't feel like there's a direct comparison for it in the US, but it's kind of like if Target and Dollar Tree had a baby, because it's not a pound store, here they're pound stores, not dollar stores, um, but it is quite cheap and cheerful. But like Target, they do, do their own lines um so it's not stuff that you can just get anywhere they have their own lines and they're really good for christmas decorations and just knickknacks around the home again they are quite cheap and cheerful but i always find really cute stuff there so i got a few christmas decorations from there too so first up, Neptune, I did get some eucalyptus branches, which I will show in a second. I've already popped them in a vase, so I'll show you that along with my new dining chairs. Um, but my candle came in this bag. They always give you these really, really great reusable bags. I have a few of them now, and they're just the most useful things for grocery shopping. So I always get very excited when I get a Neptune bag. But I just got the one candle, and this was actually not too expensive. I kind of assumed it would be like diptyque pricing, just because Neptune is quite pricey, um, but it was £15, which, I mean, it just smells amazing. So I'm thinking about getting a couple more for our mums for stocking fillers. It is just their nutmeg one. I think they did this in red as well, um, but I just went for the white one. The packaging isn't anything fancy. It's just a kind of simple container, but 
oh my goodness, the smell is just amazing. It's really warm, basically Christmas in a candle. So I'm really just so thrilled about this discovery. Definitely excited to burn this one. And then from Wilco, I do have this bag full of goodies. I did have to buy a bag because I didn't have one with me. I didn't think I'd get that much from Wilco. I thought it'd just be like one or two items and then I just saw so much good stuff. Um, so they do these great little multi packs and this is actually for my mum. She's not really into her home decor so she always gets me to decorate her tree for her and I decided to get her a few new bits and pieces and I thought these were super, super cute. Going for a rose gold pink theme since she absolutely loves pink like I I do. I thought these were just really cute, really affordable as well. I think these were, I think definitely less than 10 pounds. Um, so I got two of them. And then I also got these beautiful ornaments and these are a decent size. I think they were only three pounds each as well. And on the inside, it's kind of difficult to describe. It's like glass straw kind of all jumbled up and it has this iridescent shimmer to it really really pretty i thought these are really good value for the price so sometimes ornaments can be like 10 15 pounds each um, so i thought three pounds of them was very decent and then i also got these beautiful shimmery rose gold stars i'm a big fan of doing stars and snowflakes on trees i'm not big on kind of tinsel and big bows and things like that i just prefer to do a ton of fairy lights and then simple ornaments and um, but because of that it can get a bit samey just with round baubles all the time so i like to mix up with some either star or snowflake ornaments. I thought these ones were beautiful and I think they're gonna look amazing on my mum's tree. And then finally, possibly my favorite purchase of all, I found these absolutely beautiful trees. I like these so much that I actually got a, another one. These are just kind of fairly light, um, just wooden trees, but they have these beautiful dangling baubles in pink and gray and silver. I just thought these were adorable, very kind of Scandinavian and just really cute for a windowsill or just anywhere that you want to kind of make it a bit more festive. They look really cute on a desk as well. I think these are eight pounds each, so really affordable, really cute, just super, super happy with these. I'm gonna go ahead and go downstairs now to show you our kind of dining setup um, and also specifically our eucalyptus leaves that we got from Neptune. So these are the eucalyptus branches. I'm so happy with them. I think they look so great. I haven't cut them properly yet. I tried with scissors, but because they're wire, they're actually really tough. So I think I'm gonna get Dan to cut them with like proper wire cutters. So for now, I've just bent them into shape, but I really do love them. I think they look pretty realistic and I just think the greenery is so pretty. These are the dining chairs, which I'm really happy with. We waited so long for these chairs. We've literally just been sat on footstool. So it's really, really lovely to finally have some proper ones. They're just kind of studded on the back and then the tufted style, but they are fairly comfy and pretty neutral as well. So that is the complete view. I have ordered a rug now, which should hopefully be arriving in about two weeks, which will hopefully warm up the area a little bit. I just think it needs something to kind of, I don't know, I guess pull it all together. And we obviously need to sort out the mess in the background as well. We've just kind of been dumping stuff there because we haven't gone around to sorting it out. We are in the process of ordering a fire surround. So gonna have a proper fireplace with a mantelpiece and everything. And I think we might even be building out the wall, but that won't happen until early next year. Everyone is very, very backlogged. So we said we'd rather take our time and get it right rather than try and rush things through. But I am excited to see it come together and just be a kind of warm and toasty place to sit and eat. But for now, I am just very, very happy that we finally have some dining room chairs. So I don't really have too many other home updates. As I mentioned, things are just taking a really, really long time. Um, the only other major thing happening at the moment is my closet, which I'm hoping is going to be finished in the next day or so. I said that a few times though, um, but I do think we are almost there. If you wanted an update now, I have been doing Instagram stories over on my home Instagram account. So I will link that down below. I popped everything into a highlight reel so you can catch up as well. But yeah, fingers crossed that will be ready this week. As always, thank you so much for watching guys. If you have any questions, let me know down below and I will see you in my next one. Bye.